<laughs> hey. <sighs> Who knew that the weekend our boy Abel was a fan of American Dad? Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see, consider subscribing and becoming part of the little family we got. 85,000 strong, what do you know? Now, obviously I followed Abel on Instagram and I knew that he was gonna be having like a cameo on American Dad. Who knew that the dude liked American Dad? Like, out of all shows, American Dad. And I read the interview where he said that he was gonna be debuting a song. I don't know if it was like part of the actual, like if it was part of the actual episode or is this something on the side? I don't know, cause I didn't see the episode just in case. So that way I could react to it. That's dedication to y'all, baby, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I really don't know what to expect from this. Is it gonna be comedy? Is it gonna be an actual song that he debuted in American Dad? I honestly don't know, The Weeknd's Dark Secret. But I'm excited, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest just like the channel, links down in the description below, and let's get it. Are you sure you'll be okay if I sleep with the weekend? If you sleep with the weekend? When you sleep with the weekend? You really think the weekend will sleep with me? I wonder what the demographics for this show, for this specific episode, I wonder how much the demographics changed from their normal, like, from their normal viewership. Because you know there's people that have, like, diehard Weekend fans that have never even watched American Dad or don't even like American Dad if they've seen it. You know those people watch this episode just for this fucking song or just because of his cameo throughout the whole episode and just all, like, the little Easter eggs throughout the whole episode that are Weekend-based. You, you know that they watch. Hey, I got your text. Everything okay? It is now. That one. Mm, you are so tight. Are you wearing bug spray? Shit. <laughs> How about a little? Are you wearing bug spray? Massage. Haley, we can't do this. Yes, we can. We can, you son of a bitch. What's it going to take for you to nail my wife? Look, I'm sorry, but it has nothing to. I don't know the I don't know the premise of the show because I didn't watch it. So I don't know like how this came about. Do it, Haley. I have a confession. I've never told anyone this before. Had a lot of girls in my day, wanted more from me. But there's only really one way to start a family. And I know you can't believe it's true. <laughs> Hold on, just like the... Just the complete polar opposites of how serious his music is fitting into this fucking like stupid ass show. It makes it even funnier. And you know the song's about to slap. It's just like, how do you have a voice like this? How do you have a voice this perfect? God. I know you can't believe it's true, but I'm man enough to say to you, I'm a virgin. Never got close enough. I'm a virgin? That's the deep dark secret? Yo, I don't even know what to say right now because it's supposed to be a funny song, but the shit fucking slaps like I thought it was going to. That beat goes hard. How I'm gonna have like such a hard time like wanting to listen to this track because it's a fucking bop, it's a vibe, but at the same time, what he's saying is just so like so ridiculous because we all know. We all know. This is the same dude that said, I'll be making love to her through you, so let me keep my eyes closed. Not only is he not a virgin, he's toxic as fuck. At least back then he was, you know, he's 30 now. I feel like he's a little bit changed, especially within the lyricism of his new album. I wanna bump this song, but how, how can I? And then they got his dick fucking shining purple like it's God's gift. I'm a virgin. <sighs> How can you listen to this song? <laughs> on inside, I'm a 12 year old boy. I'm waiting for the right person. I mean, like the song's fire. I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm still gonna bump, I already know. I'm just talking shit. Inside, I'm a 12 year old boy. I see you looking in a strong way, but I won't give it up. Supermodels, they were all fake. Cause I never bumped, and I know you. <laughs> the fucking motion that he was doing right there. Supermodels, they were all fake because I never humped. Bella would have something to say about that, Abel. Son of a bitch. Nah, I'm just kidding. They were all fake. Her face when he did the motion. Because I never humped. And <laughs> I know you. I know you want to. But I'm man enough to say to you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Underneath the lies and the big talk. 
Did I say virgin wood? God, I'm like, the dude just can't fucking miss like that SpongeBob meme. That's the weekend right now. No, you want to, but I'm man enough to say to you. Oh. Virgin wood. Underneath the lies and the big talk, I've been waiting for a wife. I never watched porn, never did drugs, cause I'm terrified. And I know you, you can't believe it's true, but I'm man enough to say to you. Fucking dubs. Yo, this is this like song fits right up the alley of the show. Just the ridiculousness about what he's saying compared to what we know about him. And just the satirical nature of the show. Like it fits perfect. You want to know how I know The Weeknd don't miss? This is a fucking parody song about himself. And it's fucking a bop. And it's number 22 on trending. It's got almost a million views by the time I'm watching it. But I'm man enough to say to you. I'm a virgin. If you want to hold hands and sign me up, just know you're not going to score. You know everybody thought the lyric that was coming right there was fuck. It's, it rhymes. Hold hands, sign me up, but we're never going to fuck. <laughs> and I'm like, and like, I don't know if I should be mad about this song because like it's a fucking vibe, one. But two, it's like a wasted track on a fucking, on a fucking parody on like a, on basically a three minute joke. But at the same time, I got like mad respect that they even did this. But just know you're not going to score. Virgin wings. Never got close enough. Pure as a dove, and I'm waiting for the right person. <laughs> Never once been touched. The power of God in my loins. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a virgin. <laughs> the power of God in my loins. In my loins. So yeah, I'm a virgin. Why? Containing my seed gives me superpowers other singers don't possess. Right now, I'm using my virgin power to win Grammys. But if my calculations are correct, soon my nutsack will be a time machine. I'm trying to fuck with dinosaurs. <laughs> I feel dirty! I'm, I'm trying to fuck with dinosaurs. Ugh, <laughs> uh, yo. Who, we, this is not a side of Abel we ever see, like, fucking joking. And did you hear the difference between his voice right there, like, when... Not in studio, not in reverb, not like overly processed. It's still fucking good as shit. It sounds exactly like it does in the albums without all the reverb. Yeah. You know, like, I didn't even know what to expect. And they definitely delivered on the outlandishness that is normally the show. And I'm so torn because it's a parody song. It's something that Weird Al would make, but yet it's still it's still a bop. It's still fire. To be honest, like the sound of the song almost fits the theme of the album. Obviously not like the dark undertones in terms of the lyricism. That's the joke part, but for, the song is kind of fire. I can't believe I just made a video watching Abel sing about how he's a virgin in cartoon form on American Dad. What? What kind of bizarro world shit is this? And it was a bop? <sighs> Yo, that's it for today's video. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. Yo, I was not expecting this whatsoever. If you like what you see enough, consider subscribing, becoming part of this little family. This is obviously, an, again, not one of our normal type of videos. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel links down in the description below. Thank you and shout out to Ali Losa for letting me know that this video even existed and for telling me how quick XO fucking Reddit was with getting this up on the internet. I would have definitely forgot about it and forgot about the episode and got lost in like making other videos and to even think about doing a reaction to the to the song that was coming out from the episode. I didn't even realize that there was a song coming out from the episode until she sent me like the screenshot of the interview that said that there was a new song premiering. So Ali, if that is your real name, I appreciate you sending that to me on IG and everybody else. I I appreciate y'all guys for watching and for being here and spending your time with me on this channel because that shit means the world to me. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.